the question. Right, so if you have read and understood considering a critical care scenario, kindly tell me, how would you manage this patient? I will manage this patient according to the um, CRIS protocol. I will yes. examine the airway. I will, yes. um, um, I will commence this patient on um, oxygen. After examining the assurance that the airway is patient, I will com commence on oxygen since she's tachypneic. I want to examine the chest and um, make sure that the chest is clear and um, I want to um, examine her capillary field, her pulse rate. I want to set up an IV line, and um, um, I want to set up an IV line using a white ball cannula colored sample for ABG for full blood count and C reactive protein. I want to collect blood sample also for uh, blood gases, the blood chemistry in general. Okay. Um, I want to um, commence. Yes. I want to commence on IV fluid, ma'am. All right, good. Uh, thank you. Uh, considering this, uh, after reading the scenario, can you please tell me what are the differential diagnoses that come to your mind? My you differential. My differential diagnosis. Yes. Yes, ma'am. My differential diagnosis include um, acute pancreatitis. It could yes. also be ascending cholangitis. It could be a perforated um, peptic ulcer disease, ma'am. All right, good. Can you tell me uh, what might be the causes behind acute pancreatitis? The causes of acute pancreatitis um, commonly is gallstone. Um, uh, it yes. could be chronic alcoholism. Other causes, other causes include could be um, from virus, viral infections like coxsackie virus, could be mumps virus. Drugs like um, di um, diuretics can cause it. Hyperlipidemia, hypercalcemia, right. um, trauma, please... post ERCP, yes. ma'am. Good, thank you. Can you please tell me what are the pathogenesis which lies behind? Acute pancreatitis. If you can explain, please. The, the pathogenesis of acute pancreatitis, um, um, depending on the cause, the pathogenesis is um, that there is arsenal injury and in addition to intraductal, increased intraductal pressure. Um, whatever the etiology, um, there is destruction of, um, of arsenal cells as well as increased intraductal pressure. From gallstone, gallstone, if there's obstruction in the common channel, there will be increasing intraductal pressure. Then the bile, the, the, the bile will cause destruction in the asana. Okay. The destruction in the asana of pancreatic and, and trypsinogen. Yes. Last, and yes. And, yes. Yes. So good. Can you please tell me uh, why is this patient tachypneic right now? This patient is tachypneic right now because she could be having um, 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 uh, um, acute respiratory distress syndrome. Could yes. be as a result of irritation, irritation of the diaphragm by peripancreatic fluid secretion at this moment. Um, okay, uh, since this patient is in severe pain, how do you intend to manage her pain? For her pain, I'm going to I'm going to manage her with um with, I'm going to use petidine or I will use um I, I will manage her pain according to the WHO step ladder yes. um, method. But however, I'm going to avoid okay, yes, ma'am. Yes, and then you told me already. Okay, just suppose uh, you do not manage this patient adequately. So, what are the complications that can result? because of her acute pancreatitis? The complication, complications could be local or it could be systemic. Good. The local complications.
The local complication uh, would include phlegmon around the pan pancreas, peripancreatic yes. fluid collection, infected uh, peripancreatic fluid collection. Um, it could be, these are early complications. It could yes. also be um, uh, splenic vein thrombosis. Yes. It could, it could even, the late, late complication could be a uh, world of necrosis. You could have um, pseudo pancreatic pseudosis. Very you good. could also have pancreatic fistula. And, now. Yes. And uh, these are the locals. So what are those others? Then others, then others, then others, then the systemic complications will include um, 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 hypotension, um, uh, it could in, uh, include um, arrhythmia, the patient could even have a, adult re acute respiratory distress syndrome, acute renal failure, even occasionally the yeah, patient could even die if not properly death. managed. Okay. Yes, How do you intend to manage the nutrition of this patient with acute pancreatitis? How important is um, it? The nutrition in a patient with acute pancreatitis is very important. Yes. In the past, it used to be said that a patient, patient with acute pancreatitis should not be fed at the early phases of the, of the, of the, of the insult. However, because of the problem of um, bacterial translocation, it is better that the patient is commenced on early nutrition. Um, if okay. enteral root is... Uh, if possible, enteral feeding is not possible, if enteral, enteral feeding is not if possible, enteral, then, yes, then what would I will you use, I will use parenteral I will use parenteral parental okay. parental How would you calculate the need? TPN, for, yes, ma'am. Yes, TPN. How would you calculate the need for the nutrition for this patient? I'm going to calculate the, 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 the total energy requirement for this patient. In this patient with acute pancreatitis, um, I'm going to use 1.5 times the normal, which is, I'll give her up to like 40 kilocal per kg. I'll calculate her protein okay. requirement. I'll give her at one gram per kg. All right, good. Thank you. Can uh, this patient, since patient has acute pancreatitis, there are certain criteria which are used uh, for the diagnosis, for the confirmation of the diagnosis. Can you name few? Okay, ma'am, commonly we use the Ransin's criteria. Other criteria are the Ransin's criteria, the Apache's criteria, the Bataz, the Bataza criteria, that's the CT protocol yes. criteria. There is the BISA criteria and also the harmless acute pancreatitis scoring system. Okay, can you please tell me about the Glasgow criteria? The Glasgow criteria, which is modified by Glasgow and Emory, in, um, includes um, a partial pressure of oxygen of, of um, less than 8 kilopascal or 60 millimeters of mercury, um, age of the patient that is greater than 70, neutrophilia, which, which is WBC of greater than 15,000, then um, calcium level that is less than 2 millimeters. All right, okay. Then, um, Can uh, you please yes, tell me why a patient with acute pancreatitis normally presents with hypocalcemia? Patients with they usually present with hypocalcemia because the the, the lipase that is secreted following the arsenal destruction will destroy peripancreatic and intrapancreatic uh, fats as well as um, um, omentum. Once it dissolves it, the, once it um, 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 acts on it, then there's release of free fatty acid. This free fatty acid will now um, combine or chelate calcium, leading to reduction in the um, in the calcium. However, okay. there is also yes. another theory. This patient that, uh, presents with low blood pressure, 80 by 40. How would you take care of patient's blood pressure? This patient's blood pressure, I'm going to I'm going I'm going to um, commence the patient on IV fluid. I'll yes. give her anti-shock because they usually lost fluid mostly four to six liter uh, because of this problem. So IV fluid is more important in the management yes. of her blood pressure. Right, patient serum amylase test. Kindly comment on it. How important that is. Um, um, serum amylase. Serum amylase um, is. It can also it can be used. However, lipase is more sensitive because yes. lipase is secreted right. early during uh, the yes, process yes. of acute uh, pancreatitis. Can Why? you okay. name two situations? In, in the case of acute pancreatitis, when serum amylase would be normal or within normal range? When, when, it, when it's too early or it's too late. No. Very good. Okay, good. So I have asked you almost everything. Very good.
Thank you. Yes. Oh, thank you.